anxious to see Emma. Can hardly wait. It's a journey of 100 miles, but for Joan Rodby, it's a trip back in time. Oh a reunion for Rodby and Emma Veery. They grew up in Hawaii and went to school together. Oh, how nice. Childhood friends That's from Veery, now 86, recalls something else from that time. Watching the attack of Pearl Harbor from a neighbor's roof. Her father called to the harbor to help as the chaos unfolded. Well, we could see that we could see the bo the, the, the uh, airplanes flying and, and bombing, you know. And the black smoke. And, and the black smoke, yeah. smoke, yeah, and the fires. Those tense days immortalized in a class photo. Children with gas masks around their necks in case of another attack. They'd put us in rooms, remember, and, and they'd put gas in the rooms and we'd go in oh, right. to, yeah, to, 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 to make it, sure, to test yeah, it, yeah and to make sure that it fit. So that's Emma Veery. And, and Joan Martin. Yeah, and you don't remember any of your other classmates? 2,500 miles away, in southern Oregon, Florence Sito has the same photo, but not all the same memories. And the woman came screaming out of her two-story house. And her exact sentence was, the Japs are burning bombing Pearl Harbor. Sito lived in Honolulu with her Japanese parents. And after the bombing, a different fear set in, internment camps. When her father was falsely accused by white neighbors of hoarding canned goods, business acquaintances stepped in. So the military did not come and take him away. He was very lucky. If those Caucasian businessmen had not spoken to vouch for my father, I guess we would have all been taken to the internment camps. Yeah. Memory Sito shares with her daughter and granddaughter. I was a cute little kid. Look at that. And my sister made that dress. We had to sit there and take it until they were all done. Lauren Bruner holds on to a different photo from that time. He was a sailor on board the USS Arizona. There's parts of this whole thing. Really, can't talk about. If I do talk about it, I cannot sleep. The 32,000 ton Arizona again. Bruner can still recall the glint from the gold capped teeth of the Japanese pilot who shot his leg as the Arizona went down. More than 2,300 servicemen died that day. But we were burned all over. So they got hoops for the bed, so they put the blankets over different memories. But you clearly made the lays. Changed lives. At night, As a nation recalls its loss and honors its heroes, 75 years on. Gillian Flaccus, Associated Press.